Any, any other little gems that you want to throw my way? Any other hidden gems? Well, you see, I've got gems scattered all over my, my garden. Yeah, like the Infinity Stones. <laughs> yeah, Infinity exactly. Gems. Yeah. But I'll, I'll, I'll pluck out another gem and I'll okay. let you know. So there was a film uh, that I saw about six months ago, I think it was, called The Europa Report. Okay. Again, it's a sci-fi film. I love my sci-fi, just like you. Love it. Uh, but The Europa Report is a film that I think is loosely based upon things that could happen in the near future. So Europa is a one of uh, Saturn's moons. And it's one of the moons, uh, is it Saturn or Jupiter? I'm pretty sure it's Saturn. It's one of the moons that is covered by a, a really thick layer of ice. Okay. And beneath this thick layer of ice, when I say thick, I mean miles thick. <laughs> yeah. Like miles thick ice. Beneath this uh, layer of thick ice is a massive ocean and this ocean is supposed to be greater than our own ocean wow yeah so basically the Europa report is about a, a, a mission to this moon to dig beneath the ice and find out if there's any life in these vast ocean on this moon so heavy it's deep, stuff it's heavy stuff but it's uh it's filmed a, a bit like a documentary style you know, film type thing. And uh, there's a lot of scientific facts in there. I, I, I even believe uh, Neil Tyson Degrassi is, uh, makes an appearance in the film. He's a really, he's a, he's a really popular and uh, uh, really intellectual uh, physicist from America who right. is just, you know, he's, 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 he's at the forefront of not just in his field, but he, he really explains science really well in, layman's terms to people like myself who you know i'm not very clever <laughs> so yeah he makes an appearance in the film so again he brings the the scientific uh truth to the film you know right. he makes it seem more realistic sure uh but yeah the film uh, obviously they they launch to europa which is in saturn which is going to take years to get to so there's that long journey that takes to get there and there's all the problems that happen on the way there's problems that happen when they get there i'm not going to spoil it but uh, the film really, I think, truly depicts some of the, the treacherous environments that space definitely has. Wow. And also, once you get to another celestial object, the you know the problems that you have trying to achieve your goal. You know, it's not easy just to land on a, a planet or a moon. It's not easy just to dig miles beneath ice. It's not totally. easy to you know to survive in the you know the expanse of space. You know, no oxygen, no air. The the temperature. In a place like that, it's going to be, you know, so minus that it's going to be crazy. And, and in my head, whilst you're saying all that, I just kind of, ha I've, I've got this picture in my mind of, the, imagine the journey mm. that like, you know, just the thought of being kind of like yeah. traveling all that way for years, like you said, yeah. for me, that's mind boggling. Yeah. How do, how do they do it? I mean, to get to Mars alone takes, I believe, I think the shortest distance between Earth and Mars at any one time. I think it's six months or it can be two years, depending on the orbit. Wow. So, you know, we've got Mars, we've got the asteroid, well, yeah, so we've got Mars, the asteroid belt, Jupiter, and then Saturn. Hang but on a second. You said that, you know, you don't know much of this stuff, but flipping hell, <laughs> this is like, this is no, like yeah. my physics no. class back all over no, again. No. no, I love space. Space is one of my other loves, but I'm, I'm yeah. nowhere near to what these, you know, professors are like. But yeah, I know a bit about the universe and Fantastic. solar system and so on. But yeah, just to get to Europa will take years. I'm sure they'll have to go to some sort of cryo sleep to, to achieve that. Yeah. And the temperatures that you're facing there are way below anything that any human has ever encountered. Did it make you, okay, after you watch this film, did it make you want to go out there? I will go to space tomorrow with every <laughs> penny I own. I will I will go there with all the risks just to go to the moon. I so will if, do it. if they needed someone, yep. right, to yep. kind of um, yep. like volunteer, yep. to go through some, some training yep. and then be shipped off over there, yep. you would do it? Yep. Wow. Even before you finish your sentence, <laughs> I said, yeah, because I, <laughs> I would do it. Can you imagine? What I had you be... at hello. <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine what it would be like to stand on another planet, another moon and look back on earth 
look back on, I mean, Saturn is one of the most beautiful planets for wow. me. It's the most beautiful planet in the solar system. Yeah. The rings of Saturn, the moons that surround it, yeah. the, the vistas that you will see. Stand, you know, can you imagine standing on, on Europa and looking at Saturn in all its glory, the, the moons and the rings and, oh, come wow. on. Wow. It's just like, you know, would you, all right, um, would you take, would you be able to take a selfie and send that back down to us? You can. It will take, uh, how many, it will take, take a while to five, reach five, Earth. Five years. No, no, it'll take that sooner than that. Light, oh. light speed. If, if the, if the, if the signal to beam a, a transmission, you know, is a light speed radio signal, it will take probably maybe, I don't know, maybe uh, four days or so. I, I tell you know, what, maybe my, less than that. My but. mind's blown. I mean, this is like, because I mean, obviously it's been traveling to the moon and mm. traveling into space. I mean, th- th- there's people, there's rich people talking about it right now. Yeah, exactly. The people yeah. are saying, look, we need to start exploring it. And yeah. like, obviously you've got countries like America and like China, they have yeah. like, like space programs. Yep. The UK, probably not as much. Um, but I mean, yeah, it's mm. it's kind of the next frontier, isn't it? it? Is. Like, and this film really depicts it quite well, and okay. it just goes to show. I think the film isn't set now, it, even though the film was made in two thousand and thirteen or two thousand and fourteen. the The timeline in the film is a few years in the future because te- technology they know they couldn't say it's you know twenty eighteen or whatever it is. Yeah, it's like twenty. 20- 32 or something like okay. that so it is some way in the future brilliant but it's, yeah it's, a, it's, it's worth a watch okay. definitely go see the Euro, the europa report uh, if you can't find it let us know i'll let you know where to find it but i'm pretty sure it's on uh it's on netflix I okay think. i'm yeah. gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna track that one down all right brilliant thanks for that deval thanks for listening ladies and gents we really appreciate appreciate you downloading the show as always get in touch with us uh, let us know your thoughts let us know your comments send us you know a film review we, we, we're more than happy to read it out and obviously direct direct message us as well i mean i've, I've received a couple of messages uh, privately which were you know really grateful for yeah deval it's been a pleasure it has been senor Señor Duval, um, <laughs> gracias por su por su ayuda oh. y uh, por Pena. tu tiempo. Oh. Um, hasta luego. Oh, hasta luego. Peace.